It is a dark 30 and your car stops on a long trip. Because you're so mechanically inclined, you get out and start touching things in the engine. And you figure, probably that dang old Johnson route again. Town is way over yonder, and it's a little bit burr outside. So you hop in the back of the truck, pull out your trusty eye hood heated jacket, and put it on. Now it's time for that long, long, very, very long walk in town. But you finally make it to the Johnson Rod store. Now let's get the part you need. Hey guys, end up here. Today we are out looking over some farmland and some mountains and stuff. We are testing out our new eye hood jacket. When I first turned this jacket on, all I did was push the button here and I saw it light up red and I figured it was on. And it wasn't really all that impressive. Just a little bit of warmth. But I just found out that after playing with this thing all night, there's a button here and a button over here. And that lights up the whole thing. And now this jacket is getting toasty. It is getting really warm right around in here and I can feel it on the back and I can feel it back here on the collar. So this thing is doing what it's supposed to be doing. I don't know if you can really make this out or not, but when you first turn it on, it's going to kind of strobe. That's just letting you know that it's warming up. One thing I really like about this jacket is sometimes you don't want the lights to be on. You can push that little button right there and it turns the lights off and keeps the whole thing going. You can change individual sections of the jacket. So you have hot, warm, and cool. And you can make them be whatever you want them to be, whatever level you want them to be at, so you can get heat just in the right spot. Other jackets only have two zones that you can control, and this one has got three different ones, and that's pretty nice. What's also nice is these pockets. Look at this. There's a pocket here. There's a pocket here. There's a pocket here. There's a pocket here. We got the pockets on the sleeves. We got both sleeves have two pockets. Open this thing up and there's a zipper pocket here and a pocket here. And then there's one over here and one down here. This one is where the battery's kept. It's got a nice hoodie here that you can take off if you need to. It's got these drawstrings here so you can cinch it down nice and tight. On the cuffs there's this little velcro piece that you can use to tighten them up. Keep all of the chill out. And this is a feature that I'm liking a lot. When you zip it up, the zipper does not rest against you. It's all contained here on the outside and gets covered up by that. This one is an extra large. I'm what, 6'3", 6'4", depending on what bank I'm leaving, about 240. And this fits me pretty snug. I probably should have got the 2XL because it is long. When I put this on, I can't zip it up with my duty belt on because of just all of this stuff. And then it still makes it hard to get access to any of the stuff that I would use on my belt. I'm going to have to find another alternative for that, but for keeping inside the vehicle in case of a snowstorm, in case car breaks down, in case it's just a little burrow, this one's going to be in the back of the Tahoe. Inside the box you're going to get a box, a box, a bag, and an envelope. Now, I usually don't do unboxing videos, but this one looked pretty well packaged, so we're going to check it out. First thing we're going to check out is this bag that the jacket comes in. I like it when products come in some kind of case. That way it 
can store all of the parts and pieces that come with it and nothing gets lost or damaged. This bag has a zipper here that has nothing in it, but you could probably put your cables and stuff like that in there. Maybe an extra battery or so. And then down here we have the zipper. Open it up. There is a pocket here. And the jacket comes nice and secure in here. Inside there is another pocket that has a zipper so you can keep stuff nice and secure in there. Inside this envelope is a bunch of stuff. And a little QR code if you want to scan for uh, some YouTube videos about the product. So here we get a little American flag patch. We get a little are you happy or are you sad card. And this will tell you how to get some customer service. This is just a little kind of operating instructions for all of their jackets and gloves and that kind of stuff. This would have been helpful for me to have looked at before I started shooting this video. Here we have a little greeting card. Thanks. This is kind of cool because it actually has little fabric patches in case you uh, get a tear or something in your jacket. I've never seen a jacket come with that, so I thought that was kind of cool. It also says that you might get some gift cards or prizes if you create some kind of social media posts about this product and put your little hashtag uh, I hood warm. And this is the instruction manual for basically all of their products. We currently have this IHJ3D01. That's the one we're playing with today. And you can see here it comes in small, medium, large, extra large, and extra, extra large. Looks like you can even get a discount on the jacket if you use the promo code right there. Which would have been nice to know before you bought the jacket. They got gloves, vests, hoodies, and jackets. Inside this box is the wall charger. And products aren't usually giving out wall chargers anymore. So, it's pretty cool that this one came with one. Here's a box with a battery. Nice little picture of it in there. Probably the last time we're going to see this box, but I wanted to show it off anyway. Here is the battery and a USB-C charging cable. This is a 14400 milliamp hour, 3.63 volt, 52 watt hour battery. There are two USB-A out ports and a micro USB and a USB-C charging port. On the bottom of the inside left, there is a pocket here, and inside that pocket is our port for plugging into the battery. Take our battery here, plug it on in, and you're set. Stuff that back in. You can zip it back up if you want. You can charge this battery by using the micro USB port. And you can see that it's charging. Or you can use the USB-C port and charge it a little bit faster. If the battery that came with the jacket ever runs out of power, no worries. You can just take any other battery. This has one amp and this has a 2.1 amp output. We're going to plug it into the one amp just to show you that it'll still work. Give it some go juice. And here we can see, if we hold this down, that the jacket still warms up. On the outside of the jacket here we have our buttons. There are four of them. If we hold them down for a second or two, it will turn on each of them. And you'll see it start flashing. 
That just means that it's warming up kind of in its auto mode. It's going to start off on hot. If you want to tone it down some, you can click those buttons and change the temperature of any of these. Or hold them down to turn that section off. You can also press this button right here to turn all of the lights off and still have the jacket be on. Here's a little pro tip for you. If you ever do get stranded on the side of the road, pull out a camera. Start recording. Every single time I am on the side of the road and I'm trying to shoot some video, it is inevitable that somebody, most often a cop, will stop and offer assistance. I don't care where I'm at, they just show up as soon as I hit record. Damn this thing. Well, that's all I have for this video. Bang around that bell icon if you want to be notified when new videos come out. Call us on the hotline if you have comments or questions and want to be featured in an upcoming video. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Check us out on the website, and we'll see you guys on the next one.